he went to the locker and he asked the uh, equipment guy, he said, I want number 30, and they just gave it to him. I just, I couldn't believe that. No, <laughs> got a text uh, from Patrick Smythe and he says, hey, um, there's, you know, we have a running back here and Philip Lindsay who he wants to wear number 30 and he wants to reach out to you to ask for your permission to wear it. Now at the time I'm in my backyard and I was just enjoying a glass of wine and, and so I got the text. I was like, okay, cool. You know, I had an opportunity to wear number 30 and you know, I felt like it was probably, it was the best thing to do if I had his blessings to be able to wear number 30. I had already known about him from, you know, from training camp, uh, mini camps, and then I, you know, me, me being uh, in, in TV and, you know, kind of covering the game, I knew about him. I knew he was tearing it up in training camp. He knew more about me than, than I would have thought he did. He's busy, man. He's a busy man. Uh, he's on uh, all these uh, TV shows and things like that. So for him to be able to take some time and, you know, think you know, think about me and, and, and watch me undrafted free agent. It, it made me feel good. When I got on the phone to talk with him, man, he was impressive. You know, we talked and he explained to me how he grew up in Denver, and I knew he went to see you, and I started giving me the backstory of everything he did and how he he actually bought my book. Troy Davis, uh, one of the one of the best running backs in NFL history. So. Um, it, it was it was exciting to be able to talk to him first of all just you know talked a little bit uh got each other's story i told him that you know i read his book uh a while ago and uh so i, I knew about td for for a long time at the end of the phone call i just told him i said man yeah absolutely and he asked if he can wear number 30 i was like man go for it like i was just blown away by him not only as a player but more so as as the person and i can tell that he had a lot of confidence you know he was a guy that that felt like he should have been invited to the combine, should have been drafted. So I've, I've been there with him, so I was relating to what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. And the number 30 to me represents that. It represents not only you know, the guy that, that was probably shunned, the guy that people don't look at that is probably not gonna have success, but I'm like, okay, the underdog. He got drafted in the sixth round, which is, you know, considered low. And, uh, you know, he, he made the team off of a, a tackle, you know, and, and it's just, it's amazing, you know, what you can do. And it's amazing what, what it takes to be able to make a team and, and now look at him. So to me, it just made perfect sense to be able to pass the torch and let him wear number 30. Because I, I, to me, I'm like, okay, that's that's what it represents. And he was like, I think it'll be a great story, and I think that you would, you know, represent it right and with respect. And uh, he, you know, and he and he pretty much cut off saying the jersey doesn't make you, you you make the jersey. Philip Lindsay steps out of a tackle. Lindsay inside the 25, inside the 15, inside the 10. Touchdown, Denver! I root him on, man. Like you know, I told him you got some big shoes to feel. Like this, this is like you you're asking to to, 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 to be under some pressure here, so. Uh, but he's doing a great job. I, I, I really told him, like, I was like, yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to seeing the journey. I'm looking forward to seeing how he develops. And so far, he's gotten off to a really good start. I think I'm doing it in, in my way. You know, there was only one Trail Davis. And so, uh, as long as I can be successful like he has and do it my way, then I think he'll be happy. It means, it means a lot. It means, it, it holds a lot. So you have to carry it with respect. You gotta carry it with confidence. And you just gotta go out there and play ball. And um, you know, for the most part, I feel like I, I have done that so far. I hope one day that, that uh, you know, whether it's seven, eight years from now, that I'm back in Denver at a game and I'm on the sideline and he's about to break my, my all-time rushing record here. I mean, that would be kind of cool to be able to pass number 30 and say, hey, you know, congratulations, and see how it was passed in. So that, that's something I'm looking forward to. That'd be cool. It'd be, it'd be a, a great moment uh, for, for my family, uh, for Broncos country, especially me being a hometown kid. Um, and just, just to be able to share with him would be, would be an awesome moment.